The Pentagon released video and photos on Wednesday of the U.S. Special Forces raid that resulted in the death of ISIS chief Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. Among the images released by the Defense Department was grainy black and white footage of U.S. troops approaching on foot the high-walled compound in northwestern Syria where Baghdadi was holed up. The Pentagon also released video of airstrikes on a group of unknown fighters on the ground who opened fire on the helicopters that ferried U.S. forces in for the assault on Baghdad's compound in Syria's Idlib province. Before and after pictures of the isolated compound were also released. The compound was raised by United States munitions after the raid, leaving it looking like a parking lot with large potholes said Marine Corps General Kenneth McKenzie, commander of United States Central Command. McKenzie, speaking to reporters at the Pentagon, also provided several new details about Sunday's raid. He said that two children were killed and not three as President Donald Trump previously said when Baghdadi blew himself up with a suicide vest in a tunnel as he tried to escape United States troops. He said the children appeared to be under 12 years old. Mackenzie was asked about Trump's claim that Baghdadi had fled into the tunnel crying and whimpering. About Baghdadi's last moments, I could tell you this, he said. He crawled into a hole with two small children and blew himself up while his people stayed on the ground. Baghdadi may have fired from his hole in his last moments, he added. Mackenzie said that in addition to Baghdadi and the two children, four women and one man were killed at the compound. He said the women had acted in a threatening manner and were wearing suicide vests. Buried at sea. An unknown number of nearby fighters were also killed when they opened fire on U.S. helicopters, McKenzie said. Video released by the Pentagon showed airstrikes on a group that appeared to consist of up to a dozen or so people on the ground. McKenzie declined to provide any further details about the two men captured in the raid but said that a substantial amount of electronics and documents had been recovered from the compound. He said Baghdadi had been identified through comparison with his DNA, which had been on file since his 2004 detention in an Iraqi prison. He said Baghdadi's remains had been flown back to the staging base for the raid for identification. Baghdadi was then buried at sea within 24 hours of his death in accordance with the laws of armed conflict, McKenzie said. He also provided details about the dog that pursued Baghdadi into the tunnel. He said it was a four-year veteran of 50 combat missions and had been injured by exposed live cables in the tunnel, but has returned to duty. Mackenzie said that despite Baghdadi's death, ISIS remains dangerous. We're under no illusions that it will go away just because we killed Baghdadi, he said. It will remain.